of smiling faces and earth like stars. A frown can't bring out the beauty that you are. Love within. You begin smiling. There right a day ahead. Ooh, we're on. I better stop. Good morning, y'all. Good afternoon. Good evening to you. Whatever side of the diaspora that you on. Let me welcome you, welcome you, welcome you to the mental house with me, your illustrious host, Khadija. Listen, first and foremost, let me give my condolences to all the people who were basically um, trampled, hurt. Um, jabbed or whatever they, you know, at this concert that was in Houston. It's a very sad situation, and I'm sure most of y'all have heard it by now, but the beginning of that, the cops are saying that um, uh, the cops revealed a crazed man injected victims with opioids before Stampede that killed eight at Travis Scott concert. Um, they slammed the organizers of Astro World for taking 40 minutes to stop it and saying the youngest victim was 14 years old. You know, and that word victim is very important because that means it's got, it's garnered sympathy, right? And we'll talk about that later in another video. Because um, whether they were at the concert or not, the fact that they were hurt means they were victims. And I'm sure, you know, in this case, the youngest victim was 14. It says eight people, at least eight right now, are dead and hundreds more are injured after a crush and stampede at Astro World Festival in Texas. Rest of the festival has now been scrapped, of course, and uh, revelers surged forward towards the stage on Friday, uh, just after the concert, um, it's like nine o'clock. And let me say something: being in a stampede, I've experienced that before. Uh, although I was and I was quite young, just like the people here, um, we were at Summerfest, and I think some of that same behavior. The, the, a festival and the crowd went crazy and that's when I finally realized first realized that I'd rather be on this side of the stage than that side uh, and I was forbidden to go and that's what was the crazy part about it and I feel so sorry for the victims of this you know Travis Scott was performing on stage at um, when this happened. It's called Houston's NRG Park. Um, and then they said, one of the narratives says that one guy, and I want y'all to hear this, was running his crazy self around there injecting people with drugs. What the hell? Injecting people with drugs, poking them in the neck. I mean, uh, he was reach, he was reaching over to restrain or grab the citizen, and he felt a prick in his neck. He went unconscious, and they administered Narcan. What the? F now you know what I think after the COVID. I don't know, you guys. I don't even know how safe it is to even have these type of gatherings no more. People are too damn. Uh, sick. That is insane. The guy was running around poking people with jabbing them with opioids. 
Disturbing video from the concert showed people lying unconscious in the middle of the crowd as officers and emergency personnel performed CPR while others were seen begging concert staff for help. Concert attendees were heard shouting, Stop the show! Stop the show! Scott's pregnant girlfriend, Kylie, uh, Kylie Jenner, shared a video panning the audience to her Instagram story, which showed an emergency vehicle trying to make its way through the crowd. 17 people were taken to the hospital, with 11 of those people in cardiac arrest. That's, out of the crowd of 50,000, oh my God. God, uh, the two-day event was sold out after being canceled last year due to, due to COVID. And see, uh, like I said, some things just are going to have to change now. They can't go back to being the way it was. COVID changed a lot, and y'all just going to have to deal with it, especially you younger people. And I know that's very difficult because you think you can force stuff, but you can't. And you'll end up in situations like this. And I know you're anxious to get back to normal. But the people are too psychotic, if you ask me. And to gather with that many people just a year after COVID. <sighs> they said even hours before the deadly crush. At 2 p.m., hundreds of revelers who did not appear to have tickets stormed the event's VIP entrance around, yet uh, the stampede did not appear to be related to the surge, though. Well, that's good. Police are reportedly working to identify the victims um, and are awaiting a medical examiner's investigation to determine the cause of death. The people were crushed. Oh, I can't believe this. The mayor Turner said the youngest of the deceased was a boy. Uh, uh, he was 14 years old. John Hilgret of uh, Hunters Creek Village was identified as one of the concert's fatalities on Saturdays by officials at Memorial High School, where he was a freshman. He attended Friday's concert with his longtime friend. Robbie Hendricks, 15. Hendricks' mother, Tracy Faulkner, bought her son's ticket and for his birthday and ultimately regrets the decision. You know, it, it, it's sad. I hope they get to the bottom of uh, whoever did this. I don't know if they have a suspect, uh, but this this is insane. I want again. My heart goes out to the uh, people who lost loved ones, the people who got hurt, uh, because this is just insane. It makes no sense. You know, people were trampled, walked on, stepped on. My brother tried to save my sister in law. From the horrendous acts that were being done to her in the process, he lost his life. Ugh. Last night, he showed his courage to save my sister-in-law from the horrendous things. That I am at a loss of words in true trauma from this event. I was there, and I wasn't able to save my brother. People were hitting, pushing, shoving, and did not even care for anyone's life. That's what happened. It's mob mentality. Mob mentality. Um, it's insane. He pledged to work together. Um, oh, this was Scott. This is not the end of being a bang war. My family and I will go to the full extent to make sure he is brought to justice. Uh, Bang also accused the rapper of provoking the chaos by calling people to the stage to jump into the crowd and for not stopping the show. On 
In a tweet posted Saturday, Scott said he was absolutely devastated by what took place that night. He pledged to work together with the Houston community to heal and support the families in need. The deadly crowd surge happened at 9.15 and Penn said uh, in a news conference on Saturday afternoon that the mass casualty incident was declared uh, at 9.15. Nearly, nearly an hour later, 10.15, the concert producer Live Nation called to the show. The Houston Mayor um, Sylvester Turner uh, confirmed that of the eight people who were killed, two were under 18, two were 21, two were 23, and one was 27, and one of the victims' age remained unknown. Turner also said that 25 people in total were transported to the hospital after the tragic event and 13 were still hospitalized, including five that are under the age of 18. Babies. Babies. And I know, I know, I know. It was nothing nice. Fortunately for um, us, we escaped. Um, and unfortunately for the people sitting here, um, these fans at Astroworld, they were just, it's almost like they was trapped. They said, and I guess, they, I hope they're not trying to blame, blame this on uh, Travis, because you know, I want y'all to know, amidst all those lights and stuff, it's really kind of hard to see really well what's going on in the audience. You, It's set up that way. You guys can see what's going on upstage, but really on stage, you can't see what's going down with all those lights and stuff. This is very sad. Anyway, they said, although he completed his 75-minute performance, um... At one point, the rapper was filmed calling for help. In another video, he stood on the platform with his microphone while chaos unfolded beneath him. And his girlfriend was blasted for putting a clip um, of the ambulance tending to bed dead and uh, injured people. You know, it was it was definitely a chaotic situation, you guys. So again, that Astro World concert has been completely, completely canceled. It was a deadly, chaotic nightmare. And my heart goes out to the people that were involved, people that were hurt. With that being said, you know, Tell me what y'all think. Anybody out there that was there know anything about um, what happened firsthand? I'd I like to hear it. Maybe you leave a comment below. Thanks for being out there. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share the channel.